All right, thank you, Caroline. And the next update from the National Weather Service will come at 10 o'clock. Gabby Easterwood spoke with Alabama Power this afternoon about what they are doing for preparations before these two storms hit the coast. Gabby, are they doing anything differently to prepare? Well, Amber, not necessarily anything different in terms of preparation, but when there's two storms heading your way during a pandemic, it definitely can be unprecedented. But Alabama Power says they have crews ready on standby. Now, they are letting everyone know they have a plan in place and crews can cross state lines if response is necessary. Alabama Power is asking customers for patience, though, when it comes to responses. There is a chance outages could happen, as with any storm. And they say once it is safe for crews to be out restoring power and whatever else is needed, Needed, they will be. But with Laura's impacts coming not too long after Marco's, crews for recovery may not have a large window to work in. It's very important for people to remember we can't get out and begin working until weather conditions are safe to do so. Uh, but we will be on standby. We'll be ready as soon as the weather passes and it's safe. We'll have crews out working. There are things that you can do in the meantime, though. Alabama Power says it's a good time for residents to make sure they have all of their supplies ready and out, um, like those for those power outages, like batteries and flashlights. And they can also make sure to set their refrigerators and air conditioners to a lower temp. Now, um, Louisiana and Mississippi have already declared a state of emergency. Alabama, not yet, but the state department did say, um, excuse me, the state government did say on Friday that they would be tracking the tropics. Reporting live in downtown Mobile. I'm Gabby Easterwood, WKRG News 5.